So now let's put things on a different track, pun intended, and hear from one of the modes that um, has more track miles than any other state in the southeast. Um, we have a great partnership. You heard the governor talk about the, the 24, 25 short lines we have. Um, incredible partnership with CSX and Norfolk Southern. Look forward to working more with you and all of your companies that rely on railroads to move your products um, to complement, as Ed talked about, the partnership with, with trucking and air and our ports. And all those things need to work together as a system. So representing the railroad industry with the Georgia Railroad Association is Ms. Sharon Dunn, who's the director of that organization. Let's hear from her. Hey, good to see you. Good morning. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, uh, give you some background information on freight railroads in the state. We do have 23 railroads in, operating in the state of Georgia, two of which are class ones. And you can see on the statistics uh, the number of employees and the, the benefits that are provided. It's a, it's a viable, very viable industry here in the state. Um, the short lines are a very important part to economic development within the state of Georgia. Short lines reach areas of the state that are usually rural and not probably not served by class one railroads. Um, they serve industries that provide jobs for those rural areas. And they have a different and smaller customer base than your class one railroads. Um, and they have a much smaller freight volume revenues, but they also provide um, many benefits to the areas they serve. As has been mentioned earlier, the uh, state of Georgia is the third largest owner of rail, rail lines in the state. Uh, several years ago, the state had the foresight to purchase uh, some rail lines that otherwise would have been abandoned. And once a, once a rail line has been abandoned, it's very, very difficult to get it back, if at all. Uh, some issues for the short line industry is that they do have to have the, the heavier rail cars to connect with their class one partners. And railroad bridges are an ex uh, need to be properly maintained, and there are several bridges within the state that do need some maintenance work um, and to, to carry those heavier loads. Uh, this map, I think, is, shows a great example of how extensive the rail line system is in the state. Uh, with the exception of the far northeast corner of the state, uh, the, we are very well rail served. The blue lines represent CSX transportation, the green line is Norfolk Southern, and then everything else you see in red is uh, short line railroads. Uh, here's some examples of the presence that NS and CSX have in the state of Georgia. Uh, between the 22 and 23 states that they operate in, they have a major presence in the Atlanta area with their intermodal facilities and also down at the ports. If you are working for CSX, wherever, whatever state you end up working in, you're going to come to Atlanta for your training. And NS's Georgia Division headquarters is located in Atlanta. So you can see the, the large presence that the class ones have here. Some of the commodities that we haul, and we've talked a lot about the intermodal connection. Uh, we have coal is the number one commodity that the railroads, um, that they haul. Those numbers have declined over the years, uh, but the intermodal numbers are growing. And here's some examples of tons originated and terminated here in the state. With Georgia being one of the fastest growing states in the southeast, you can see that a lot of products are, are finding their destination here in Georgia for, um, for homes and businesses. Uh, some why freight rail? It's efficient, it's economically sound. Um, it's environmentally responsible. Uh, it, it does help fight, get those, uh, tr some of those trucks off the highways and onto rail lines and help uh, with highway congestion. We do have ongoing challenges within the industry. Federal mandates requiring um, unfunded mandates for positive train control, the threat of re-regulation in the industry, uh, Funding for short line railroads in, is very important. So um, that, is, that is it. Thank you.